welcome. Why the breath? It's a breath. How can we heal through the breath? There's a story in the old Upanishads that talks about how all the senses got together and they were quarreling over who was the most supreme, who was the most important amongst them. Sight, sound, hearing, taste, touch, as well as thinking and the breath. So like all young kids who are fighting, they went to their father and said, Father, tell us, who among us is the most supreme? AKA, who's the most important? Who's your favorite? And their father said, well, here's one way to settle the debate. Why don't you take turns? Each of you depart the body for one year. Come back and check in with each other and see who's the most supreme. So Sight said, sure, I'll go first. And so Sight departed the body, wandered around for a year and came back. Upon his return, he asked the others, okay, how'd you do without me? They said, well, we bumped into a bunch of stuff, but we learned to manage. You're not the most important. You're not the most supreme. Next, sound departed the body. After sound's year of absence, returned and said, well, how'd you do? We had to figure out a new way of communicating, but we were able to do that. We missed out on a lot of things, not being able to hear them, but we still survived. And on and on this went, taste, touch. Even the mind departed for a year. And when the mind returned, the mind asked, well, how did you fare without me? To which the other senses replied, well, we were like an innocent young child. We really couldn't make sense of a lot of things, but we managed just like an infant survives without much cognition. You're not the most supreme. Finally, it was prana, the breath's turn to depart. And just as he was about to take his leave, the others could feel what would happen in his absence. So they all conceded and begged him to stay. So why the breath? Take a moment for a, and think of something that's truly inspiring. Conjure up an image of something that's really inspiring, something that takes your breath away or makes you catch your breath. Bring your attention fully to your breath. Think of that image, a sunset, a loved one, your favorite place in nature, your favorite piece of music or art. Notice what happens to your breath. Now only for a moment, Think about sitting in traffic. Think about your internet going down when you have a Zoom meeting. Think about someone not listening to you when you're trying to make a point. Think about all those negative stories you tell of yourself. Now notice your breath there. Notice your body. The breath is not simply the exchange of oxygen, moving it in and out to make sure that you have enough oxygen or carbon dioxide. There's more to the breath. And it has been talked about for over 5,000 years. Inspiration to bring in spirit. Our breath is a clear reflection of how we engage with our life. My work is to help explore how you breathe into your life. How do you take in your life force? Now, this can be connected to purely physical. How do we sit all day long? What happens with our posture, our muscles? In our modern culture, whatever we call that, we tend to contract, constrict. Our muscles get tight. And this inhibits the free flow of breath. So. We have to address our posture, our muscles. As many of you who do yoga, therapeutic stretches, Feldenkrais, somatic work know, opening up the body frees up the breath and can change your mood. But it's not just about the body. We may be open, our posture might be aligned, and yet we hold our breath. We inhibit it. 
We don't breathe in fully. We're afraid to take in life. Many of the people with whom I work who don't think they deserve, don't inhale fully. And many of the people who are afraid to put themselves out into the world don't exhale fully. Now that's very simplistic, but we can look at other breathing techniques that help regulate this exchange of energy, of life force, of breath. So how do you breathe? What inspires you? What makes you catch your breath? What makes you hold your breath? What makes you wait to exhale? How would you like to breathe into this moment? How would you like to breathe into this life? That's what I'm interested in exploring with you.